everybody, it's Amy from CraftyMcFangirl.com. Thanks for joining me for a Game of Thrones inspired craft. Today I'm going to show you how to make dragon eggs. You can find links for all the materials you will need for this project in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at CraftyMcFangirl.com. To make the eggs, you'll need three small foam eggs, air dry clay, craft sticks, putty colored acrylic paint, plum acrylic paint, light green paint, dark green paint, black paint, and paint brushes. To make the chest, you will need an unfinished wood box large enough to hold three of the foam eggs with a little extra wiggle room, rhinestone stickers, brown acrylic paint, gunmetal silver paint, gold paint, and a fine tip black marker. Start with three small foam eggs and a reference picture to work from. Remove just enough air dry clay to cover one egg completely. Then carefully close the clay package so it doesn't dry out. I like to keep mine in a plastic zipper bag. Working in patches, smooth out the clay and cover the egg evenly. Then smooth out the surface of the clay until you cannot see any wrinkles, joins or cracks. Once the clay is smooth, it's time to add the scales. I used a craft stick with a scale shape cut out of it. Starting from the top of the egg, press the scale shape stick into the clay in a uniform pattern, working your way almost to the bottom. Leave a small amount at the bottom without the scale pattern. Once you've pressed the scales into the entire egg, it's time to go back and fix up any mistakes, add more detail. Then, use the points of the craft stick to add some speckles to the bottom of the egg where there's no scales. Repeat the same clay sculpting process with your other two foam eggs. Once I finished sculpting my three eggs, I went back a final time to fix more mistakes and add some detail. I used a sewing pin to add smaller speckling on the bottom of each egg as well. Let the clay dry completely before continuing. I let my eggs dry overnight. Start with putty colored acrylic paint as a base coat for all three eggs. Paint the bottom of two eggs and paint the third egg completely. Let the paint dry completely before continuing. Next it's time to paint the purplish black egg. Start with a coat of plum acrylic paint. Then add a drop of black paint to the plum to create a darker purple. Paint the darker purple onto the top of the egg creating an ombre effect from dark to light. To paint the green egg, you will need light green, dark green, and black paint. Paint all of the scales with the light green base coat. Then go in with dark green over the light green and blend it, starting from the top. Leave a little bit of the light green showing at the bottom. Next, mix a drop of the black paint with the dark green and use this darker color on the top of the egg. Again, blend downwards to create a dark to light ombre green effect. While the eggs dry, it's time to work on the chest. Mix a few drops of brown paint with quite a bit of water to create a brown paint wash for the outside of the box. Working in patches, paint on the wash and dab some of it off with a paper towel. You want a light brown result with the wood grain showing through when you're finished. Then use a darker brown wash for the inside of the chest. Use the same brown paint, just add less water. Once the box is dry, it's time to paint on the details. Start by finding an example of the chest online. The chest is very detailed and complicated. I decided not to try to paint an exact replica, but instead I used the image as a point of reference to get some of the look of the original chest onto my version. Start by drawing on the silver portions. And fill those in with metallic gunmetal silver paint. 
Next, draw on the gold details and fill in those shapes with the gold metallic paint. Once the gold paint has dried, you can add some dimension with stick-on rhinestones. It doesn't matter what color they are because you're going to cover them with gold paint to make them look like metal. Once the painted rhinestones are dry, the final step is to outline the gold and silver shapes with a fine point black marker to make the shapes pop and give the details the feeling of dimension. Then add the dragon eggs and your chest is done! This is such a cute gift for any Game of Thrones fan and a fun way to decorate any room. Thanks so much for watching today and if you're a Game of Thrones fan, check out my Game of Thrones jewelry at geekymcfangirl.com and if you have any other ideas for more Game of Thrones inspired crafts, leave me a message in the comments below. See you next time!